Now, one of the things that I always tell families to look out for uh, when they're traveling with us on the Festival Railway is what we call the rubber duck pond, or just the duck pond. Now, we're actually just coming up for it now, so see if you can spot the rubber duck pond. Welcome to another episode of Rail Tales here on the Festival of Welsh Rhine Railways. Uh, my name is Matthew and normally I'd be one of the on-train guards uh, on the, the railway but today uh, I'm off duty as you can probably tell from the way I'm dressed. Uh, I dress much smarter, believe it or not, uh, when I'm on duty. Uh, we are going to go for a little ride today uh, on one of the Woodland Wanderer services on the Festival Railway and I'm going to take you with me. So we're travelling from Port of Madoc all the way here to Tannabog, which is roughly the halfway point of the railway. Uh, a very popular trip with families because Tannabog station is right in the middle of the woods. There's a series of woodland walks all around this area here, including down to this lake uh, down here. And there's also a very nice cafe and play area as well. And if you have pre-booked your tickets, you want to come in and check in with the station hosts over here. Uh, so we've got Huan and Reg, and uh, they're going to check me in. Like I say, pre-book your tickets advice in advance is advised, uh, but there are tickets available on the day as well. We're doing a Woodland Wanderer trip, so um, Matt Hall for Woodland Wanderer, please. Right, I, I shall check you in. Thank you very much. And there you are, checked in. Thank you. So it's a very nice day here in Port Pine. I've actually arrived a little bit um, before the train is due to depart. So I've uh, grabbed myself a drink from uh, the railway's bar in Spooners, coming outside, sitting here in the beer garden. A very nice place uh, to enjoy both watching the trains go by and to uh, relax, especially in glorious uh, Welsh weather like this. So I'll take this opportunity just to um, tell you a bit more about my involvement with Festival of Welsh Iron Railways. I did my first kids week on the railway which is it's actually called the youth training program these days um, but it's where you can get start getting involved with the railway such as uh, painting fences and learning key skills like how to use certain tools uh, it taught, taught me a lot actually and then um, Eventually, in the early 2010s, 2011 I think it was, I did join the temporary summer staff for five to six summers, uh, working as one of the on-train uh, stewards. Uh, but during that time, I then also decided that I wanted to start training as a guard. Uh, and then, after a few years of training, um, I did eventually qualify as a guard in 2018, and that is very much my position now. So our train has arrived in uh, Port Manog and passengers are making their way on at the moment. Uh, when you buy a ticket for a Woodland Wanderer, you are sold a compartment. So there's one compartment here, for example, another one there. And these can hold up to six people each. Obviously I'm travelling on my own today and that is possible as well. Uh, but yeah, when you buy a ticket, you get an individual compartment to sit in. So you've got your own little space to enjoy the journey with and sit back and relax. Uh, I've chosen my compartment. I'm going into this one here. So let's get settled in.
So there we go then, the Woodland Wanderer has arrived in the woods here at Tannerbog. Just going to wait for Ben the guard to unlock the door. Again, this is one of the responsibilities I would normally have if I was on duty, making sure the doors are locked uh, before we head set off and then unlocked again to uh, let the passengers out here at Tannerbog. So, so just going to wait for him to turn up. So if you're on a Woodland Wanderer yeah, service, you. here he is, here's Ben the guard. Thank you, Ben. Uh, if you're on a Woodland Wanderer service, um, you have about an hour here at Tannerbog to explore either the local uh, woods, uh, there's a particular nice walk down to the lake here or you can just enjoy the cafe and have a nice refreshing break and uh, if you've got kids with you there is a small play area here as well so let's gonna have a little explore <laughs> So here we are here at uh, Tannerbork Station. Now I mentioned that there are two main things you can do in the hour break or so uh, that you have here. One of them is to go for a little walk uh, through the woods, particularly down to the Lake uh, Lynn Meyer. So that's just down uh, this path down here. Or alternatively, uh, it's quite a nice sunny day today and I'm on my day off. So I'm thinking uh, heading over to the cafe over there. And um, yeah, I think it's ice cream weather. Well, and I always remember getting very excited as a young kid when I finally saw uh, the engine uh, at Side Harbour Station. I knew we'd arrived, we were on holiday, and the holiday was about to begin. Like I say, I am off, uh, I'm off duty guard. This is where I would normally live when I was on duty on a train in the guard's van. Seeing here, making sure the train operates safely, checking tickets, selling tickets to people if necessary, and all, uh, all the important equipment is in there. Like I say, trying to get back on board now though and enjoy the ride back to Port Maddow. Uh, back to Port Malog now, having had our hour at Tannerbog. And one of the things that I always tell families to look out for uh, when they're travelling with us on the Festival Railway is what we call the rubber duck pond, or just the duck pond. Now we're actually just coming up for it now, so see if you can spot the rubber duck pond. Did you see it? So there we go then, the journey's end, back in Port Malog, about two and a quarter hours or so after we left. Like I say, quite an ideal journey for families. We have a 35 minute journey each way between Port Malog and Tannerbog, and an hour's layover at Tannerbog to either enjoy the local surroundings, or just enjoy the cafe, as I did today. Got Palmerston and Welsh Pony just running around their trains before they take the stock back to Boston Lodge for the night. It's a lovely evening here in North Wales, as you can see. And you may be wondering why uh, my as volunteers went, uh, or particularly me as a volunteer, went for a journey uh, on my day off. Well, ultimately, we fell in love with the railway because of the journey, because of the local surroundings, and because of the atmosphere. So it's always nice uh, on your days off every now and again to have a little journey yourself just to relax and enjoy it like you did for the first time all those years ago in my case. <laughs> uh, like I say, thank you very much for uh, watching. Thank you very much for going on a journey with me on the Woodland Wanderer. Hope to see you soon. <laughs>